Hey guys, well sorry, long time between clips. I know I seem to be saying that a little bit more lately, but uh, I guess I got a bit distracted. A uh, few too many projects on the go at once. What with what with making my own cheese, dabbling in dehydrating food, uh, making my own beer and cider for myself and the whole family and parents and whatnot. Um, so pulled back on that a little bit and drew my attention back to the the veggie patch and uh, straight away I've noticed a big difference I've worked really hard the last few weeks to catch up with all the spring planting and getting ready uh, for the summer season so um, I'll do a full uh, tour of the patch so you can see the difference to the last clip because uh, yeah there's quite a lot uh, going on and has changed so exciting times all going well fingers crossed touch wood all those superstitious sort of things um, no bugs and pests to to worry about and uh, issues at the moment um, normally I start this side of the patch but what I'll do is I'll skirt outside for a change because I seem to skip over the, uh, the little mini orchard and that area pretty quick but I'll give it its uh, justice today so I'll go out over there first all right Alrighty, so for starters over this side, um, I've just finished digging it out last week. This all got taken over with the lawn, the lawn all grew in here over the winter. I had nothing planted in here over the winter, nothing seems to want to grow. Oh, there's a little willy wagtail, sorry. He seems to like eating the little bugs and flies. He seems to be my little helper, especially in the um, shade house, anyway. Um, yeah, so I just finished digging out all the lawn, added manure, turned it all over, added a bit of fertiliser and I've planted out the corn and pumpkins through here. They were grown from seed over in the shade house a couple of weeks ago. So the, they've just come out of the shade house so it's a little bit early really with the shade up but um, you can see the leaves are a little bit yellow on the pumpkins but they'll, they'll green up now that they're out in the the main part of the patch um, so yeah the the first planting ends here of the corn and uh, yeah I need to sow another lot and then they'll go in here just to sort of space things out a bit alrighty now I'll go over the other side alrighty so over this side all the fruit trees appear to be doing very well um, so this has got all the fruit trees along here as well as onions through the bottom here and garlic through up here so I'll go through it um, separately and then we've got passion fruit here at the back and on this trellis on the back here and also banana passion fruit along here and here and these are the baby rosemary which I was supposed to repot on the weekend but didn't get around to it um, over here we've got some sweet potato at the front and then the rogue tomato Rob Bob, not as impressive as yours. I know you've got a nice yellow uh, cherry tomato growing up your chicken pen. This one here is just about to get its first ripe fruit down the bottom here. So, carrying on the chicken tomato tradition, so to speak. We'll keep growing this one up the wire here. So the sweet potato, they're starting to throw out some runners. Um, they're taking off. There's something that's eating the leaves a little bit, but not too much to worry about. The um, pear trees, there's two, one here, one here. They seem to be struggling. The one on the right seems to be doing not so bad. The one on the left, uh, it's hanging in there, but it's not looking good. Everything I've seen to plant in that spot uh, dies. I've had a white neck green and also an angel peach. So. Maybe it's time to test the soil there because it might be a bit of an issue, I think. The guava seems to be doing really, really well. No flowers on it yet, but yeah, it's doing good. Uh, onions, now they've just filled out in the last two weeks. Um, they weren't doing much, plenty, plenty of green, but then all of a sudden they took off and they've got some nice big bulbs on them now. So really happy about that the plum that set some fruit not as much as last year um, but enough uh, and then next to that between there and the apple trees there's garlic um, they're starting to form some bulbs I had a bit of a dig around there the other day they're not looking 
too bad. It's still a fair way off though. I've got to wait till they dry out. Um, passion fruit along the back walls filling out nicely and then the one along the front wire is the banana passion fruit that's got some spectacular flowers on it but no fruit setting just yet and the apples they've got flowers and um, yeah they're starting to come around now and the pink lady's already got a few, a few fruit on there so that's this side now we'll head on into the patch all right, so before we head into the patch, I'll show you the two mulberries. Now, I transplanted them into these pots. Um, these did have mulberries on them, but I think the birds or the parrots uh, got to them, picked them all off. We did get a few, but not to worry. No, no biggie there. The bananas, they're still doing fine. Well, this bunch is doing quite well. Still no colour on it yet. The other one over the other side did fall off under its own, well, not really weight, I guess. But uh, yeah, it fell off, so I've got to get that out of there. Um, pineapples. This one has been harvested and it was delicious. I reckon if you blindfolded me and you put a store bought and my one, don't reckon you'd pick the difference. So. Yeah, really happy with that. This one's almost ready. You can see it's got a bit of colour coming on there. Not quite as big as the last one. This will be ready actually, it looks like, in the next day or so. So we'll be harvesting that. And then I did cut the top off the old pineapple. And that seems to have taken. I'll put that in a bowl of water. So that'll be the next generation of pineapple. Really happy with that. And uh, even they're still going. Here's another one over the back here with a flower just setting. So, more pineapples. Really good. Really happy with that. Um, over this side, these are the chilies that I mixed up that I thought were capsicum. They're a larger style chili. So, put them in a pot. They seem to be doing okay. Probably should have only had one to a pot, but not to worry um, the chilies they need to be steak oh, well I've steak put the steak there I haven't actually tied it to the steak yet um, but I will get round to that and this Thai chili started to flower so hopefully we'll be getting some fruit off that you can hear the rainbow lorikeets in the background uh, they're nesting currently in the palm tree they've hollowed a big hole out as well as a pair of kookaburras on the opposite side of the tree so it gets pretty noisy here in the morning at the moment um, I'll try film some at the end of the clip if they're still hanging around anyway we'll get back into the patch eh? Uh, raspberries it's looking like a really good year for raspberries this one's doing really well and so is this one this one's chockers look at that Heaps of raspberries to come, and even the blackberry. Ah, uh, blackberry. This isn't blackberry. What's this? Uh, I've got to rack my brain. Marionberry. Marionberry is doing really well. I stand corrected. It was a blackberry. I had to stop there because I was second guessing myself. There's plenty of flowers on it, as you can see here, and. It is a blackberry. So, yeah, happy with that. They're doing really well. Um, over here, the celery is ready to be harvested. Uh, they're trying to, one or two of them are trying to start to go to seed, which is not a good thing. Uh, silver beet slowly ripping that out and giving it to the chickens. That's just about finished. The asparagus, we're getting some whoppers huge huge asparagus at the moment almost at the point where we can't keep up so that's that one there's missed the boat there um, but yeah they've been going pretty well this bed uh, once it's cleaned out and I get rid of these few bits and pieces will be for spaghetti squash and hopefully the um, snake beans because the purple beans they're all just about finished on here um, and sorry just to mention the shade on this side of the patch has gone up did that 
uh, not last weekend, the weekend before. Took me about an hour, hour and a half. So job done there. Over here, this bed, all the lettuce is in here. You can see I've let some go to seed. This is green coral. I need some new seed stock of that. And then over the back there, this one's red coral I've let go to seed. But I'm doing a bit of con like consecutive planting to try to keep up. So this bed's doing really well. The only downside is this one here. I bought from the shop and was advertised as green oak leaf but this pointy leaf is not and I don't like this variety I can't I don't know what it's called they're selling it as green oak leaf but it ain't green oak leaf um, but the green beans they're still doing really well got some here to save for seed as you can see they're drying out so we'll be keeping those but there's another lot coming through there's still plenty of flushes of beans um, the blueberries they are absolutely dripping with blueberries at the moment they are loaded I uh, this each year just keeps getting better and better I reckon I'll I could harvest off there's two plants one here and one oh, just over there I reckon this harvest tonight I'll probably get I reckon 400 grams plus, maybe a bit more. So yeah, the blueberry is doing amazing. Um, yeah, can't get enough of the blueberries. Righty, over this side, I've re just yesterday repotted these herbs. They were in very small pots, but had to repot them. These ones are for sale. For when we have our garage sales we had our first one the other week made 150 bucks so can't complain about that it all goes towards the patch getting more manure more soil more this more that more fertilizer um, this is my little seed bank over here seedlings the um, sunflowers they'll be going out the front in between the rosemary hedge um, and these other ones here these didn't work these were a different type of sunflower these ones here are some capsicum and I have a little visitor so hello Tyler hello have you just had some chocolate toast or something <laughs> I can tell <laughs> anyway this is some mint that we pulled up and potted up didn't we Tyler yeah uh, the marjoram that's had a haircut actually a lot of the herbs have had a haircut I know it seems like a waste but I've got that much dried I don't know what to do with it sage oregano thyme nothing in here mint's been cut back uh, potatoes they're all finished we dug out lots of potatoes didn't we Tyler it was good fun, wasn't it? Oh, oh I hope you didn't hit the blueberries. <laughs> no. No? Okay. So, yeah, the potatoes are all finished for for this season. Um, planted some rocket in here. This here is Corsican mint. I think it will do well under here in the shade, under the, the grapevine which grows over here nicely in the summer um, this is the the mint they use to make cream de menthe or de menthe um, a very strong mm, flavor but yeah I found that interesting so I got that one all the other herbs down here are doing well anyway we'll go around the corner Tyler won't we and yeah. show the people the last section of yeah. the patch alrighty last section so we've got zucchini which seems to be doing well there's no flowers as of yet a bit of parsley there another zucchini there a um, bit of Asian veg over here um, and then here I've got samphire that's right this only grows in conditions where it likes it pretty wet likes to have wet feet um, so um, 
yeah, it needs to be in the shade or somewhere where it stays quite wet. Um, there's beetroot over here and a second planting of beetroot over there. And then we also have beetroot that is ready for harvesting here. We've got some quite large beetroot there, don't we? Yeah, yes Tyler. One comes out. That's a big one, isn't it? Now one of them comes out. Boy. Yeah, almost yeah. come out, hasn't it? Uh, the root's still holding it there. But we need to pick that for dinner, don't we? Yeah. Yes. Uh, capsicum, they're in here. There's some smaller ones and some larger ones Mom. here. Um, they're just starting to set some flowers. Yeah. Some little flowers there. Now we'll go over and I'll show you the tomatoes and there's my beer that I need to consume. The tomatoes are doing exceptionally well. This is the full size ones. This is the cherry size ones. It's all different varieties through here. Did I plant them close together? Probably yes. Am I doing the best I can to tie them up? Mm, probably could be keeping up with it a little bit better. But if we go under the canopy, actually we'll go over to this one. You can see whoop, there are plenty of tomatoes. Actually, that one there will be our first ripe one. Very exciting. It's not quite ready. I'm not ready one to me. Oh, Tyler was a naughty boy, was he? He picked a not ripe one. Yeah, from okay. out there. So, there we go. The tomatoes are doing really well. But it's a bit of a struggle to keep up with pinching out because I've let them go to only two litres. So, if you're unsure what I'm talking about, uh, Here's a leader here. You can see it's got a little one trying to sprout here. We just pick that out and just train the two, which gives you stronger fruit and um, the plant's just a lot healthier if you try and minimize the amount of shoots coming off the side. It's a bit tricky to film the tomatoes without getting too close. These ones here are the Romas. They're doing good. There's quite a few there. It's quite a few roamers. Anyway, we'll go to the last couple of beds. We've got this one here. This is full of rock melon and basil. So no flowers, but no issues so far. And then over here, for the first time I've planted cucumbers. So I'm gonna try train them to grow up carrot. this fire. And carrots. And, and what? Carrots. Do you want to pick a carrot? Yeah. Should we let, oh. Tyler, right on cue, your favourite, the big A380. Same time, that must mean it's 5.30, I better hurry up and do this video, tea time soon. Anyway, alright, oh you already did it, oh come on, alright pick one for your brother, pick one for Jay. Oh yeah. Yes I know, quick quick quick, you gonna pick one for Jay? Alright, you gotta show the people, oh, show, show the people. Whoa! Are you going to give it to your brother? No, we got to get this one. Alright, you can pick one more and then that's it. Yeah, I can you need one more for... Okay. For mm, which oh. one? That one? Whoop, show me. Good job. Alright, we'll take them inside and wash them up. So, from Jay and Tyler and their carrots. Good carrot? It's goodbye and <laughs> see you in a couple of weeks and don't forget uh, Instagram Veggie Patch in Perth and Facebook Veggie Patch in Perth. I do actually update that quite a bit at the moment compared to this unfortunately, sorry. Um, yeah, and see you next video guys. What you looking at Tyler? Are ya? Where is he? Is. What what else is in the tree, Tyler? Kookaburra and what? Rainbow parakeet. So there is. Another little cookie.